cut it into bars. If we go across here,
Okay, here we are at a uh, very exclusive part of the forge where they're actually making uh, today some sunlight uh, animation. Um, as you can see, here at the forge, it's got an excellent uh, quenching bucket for cooling down the tools that are used to actually hold the, the steel that's in there. And then brings it over here to the anvil, starts hammering it into shape, putting it back into the forge again to heat it back up again and reshape it. Process it obviously takes a lot of time, a lot of hard work, and uh, it's a very interesting process. We'll see shortly uh, we'll be taking it out and working on it from there. Now it's time to see some polishing using um, more traditional techniques. We've got a couple of guys in here, hard at work. And some hand polish. They actually use Japanese imported redstones um, because the quality is much better and it gets a much better result. Okay, here we are at a bit smile, smile. Uh, where they're... Yeah. 